Hey guys, this is Introduce and Emmy, and we're back with another Red Line Tuesday. I know, it's been forever, but here we are. So, this one is from Show Arts, who's actually another uh, Let's Drawer. Is that a thing? I don't know. I consider myself a Let's Drawer, like a Let's Player, whatever. But his name is Show Arts, and this is a drawing he sent me a long time ago. And um, he has since, in my opinion, a improved since then from what I've seen of videos that he's posted since then. So, um, oh, and I should mention real quick, he actually, this is the way it looked when, uh, when he sent it to me and I've just kind of sharpened it and cleaned it up so that it looks good for filming and everything. So, yeah. But, uh, I should mention that, you know, he's improved since in my opinion, since he sent this. So, this is less for him and more for Yens. Okay, so first things first, let's make sure... I actually like the shape of this leg better. Also, my dog has chosen now to begin grooming herself, so if you can hear that, I apologize. So we, one thing, um, here, let me not make a mess of this first of all. This uh, leg is longer than this leg. Now maybe this is a choice, a stylistic choice, but uh, let's get that big toe in there. But for the sake of our correction, we are going to attempt to make them the same length. So you see how um, you see how this was so much longer right here, like the uh, the Achilles tendon was going like way way back. So we're just we're shortening it off a little bit there. I also did a little quick uh, belly fake genital anatomy. So with guys, when I whenever I draw guys, if I intend to have clothes on them, like you're not going to see their junk, I just kind of put like a lump <laughs> there. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I guess I should say people with penises to be more appropriate. People with bulging genitals. Okay, so I think this character is supposed to have like a humpback? And I'm not, is this I'm not totally sure if this guy's supposed to be connected to it. I don't know what this guy's doing. I Actually, this is my favorite part of the drawing over here. I don't know what he is, but I love him. So. And that actually takes the shoulder from there. See how this is like this is the neck, the circle, and the original shoulders right there. We want to actually make 
move it down. Now this is definitely not my kind of style for drawing and that's that's fine I just don't draw like this so if you see something about the original that just totally sings to you and you're like oh no leave it leave it take it take it make it your own because I am uh, kind of fixing this to my liking, which is what I assume the original artist intended. But if you see something that you like about it, take it. Make it yours. Steal. Okay, so another thing is, uh, this is really straight. And actually, like, right in here, it's a little fuzzy. It's kind of like they weren't totally sure um, how to draw the fingers sort of, like, wrapping around, which is fine. So what I like to do when I draw hands, uh, whether they're in a fist or straight or however, is uh, I don't like, I don't like things to be real even and straight like that. Because then it kind of comes off looking like ladderish, I guess, or like a building architectural. Where the middle finger is, so right here, I like to peek it at the middle finger. See, and then you get this kind of a, an arc. So this would be your index, your middle, your ring, and your pink. So let's put in however big around we think that uh, the post will be, or to just kind of give us a little mark there for that. And actually the thumb the thumb which you uh, can see in the original right there it's a little awkward like um, let me think yeah this definitely is not I mean you could but on like an object that big, you'd really, I think, I can just barely touch my, my thumb to the tip of my index. So I would recommend tucking, the thumb would be back here, and you wouldn't be able to see it. I guess you could like maybe put a hint of it there if you wanted, but that's still... Yeah, I, I really honestly think you'd be fine to, like, not, to not show the thumb. Okay, and then I'm actually going to turn this off for now to do the head, and then I'll kind of put them back together. So let's kind of find our, our base shapes here.
by the way. I try not to uh, do too much of like the chicken scratch kind of. It's actually kind of hard to do with the tablet, but I try not to let my contours get away from me too much. They do a little bit though. Also, when you're sketching, go ahead and overdraw these like brow shapes. guy he's a good character I like him you know I bet my dad would like this character it just seems like I'm also going to uh, overlap the the nose over the lips again if this is not what you're going for feel free to disregard whichever parts of this correction you feel are totally off. I have to admit, I'm kind of having some fun with them. <laughs> Trying to get the uh, the brow to break the uh, top of the skull here. Okay, let's try something like that, and let me put a color under it real quick. So that we can see. So this, <laughs> sorry, this is what I get for kind of piecemealing together my red line Tuesdays. So this needs to go on top, so I'm actually just going to cut it out. By the way, this is probably going to be the only one I do today, just because um, my internet has not been so good lately, and I've been having trouble uploading videos, and knowing my luck, this is probably going to go up late tonight. I've been kind of having to like sit and babysit my my uploads all day today which has not been fun. I've gotten into this habit of like turning my uploads on and then like going to bed or going to the post office or doing whatever else I have to do that day and I do not like to sit with them. But anyway. So when it comes to like things like tattoos or like little marks or whatever on the body, make sure that you are finding the uh, contours. To uh, this is my terrible anchor drawing to make sure that uh, they follow the correct uh, path of the, the muscles and whatever. 
because even if this was like the most perfect anatomy and everything, if you have like a tattoo or a mole or something that's on the body and it's sitting at like a, well, maybe not a mole so much or freckles, but the overall pattern or design, if you have things that don't contour to the body that are supposed to be sitting on the skin, it just throws the whole thing off at the end. Like it, there's always, even if like the audience doesn't know there's something wrong, like, like know what it is, they can still like pick out that there's something like an issue. Now, the other thing is when I was looking at this drawing initially while I was sitting up my recording, I didn't know where the other, um, uh, arm and hand is supposed to be. If this is like supposed to be the other hand or arm or part of his back, I'm not sure. But if I was going to put in the other hand or arm, I would actually have it. Let me do this on new layer actually. Now, you know, maybe this is not at all like what you were intending, but trying to mimic the other hand they drew there. But I would have the other hand either, well, yeah, I think I would have the other hand coming in front of the body to also, I don't know then, you kind of get rid of all this cool like belly stuff and his arm kind of disappears. Maybe you could, uh, yeah, I hear drag racers. I would say if I did it like this or something. Eh. Yeah, I think I do. I think I hear drag racers out there. We're wrecking the law, we're wrecking the law. Durr, durr, durr. So maybe have like. like that. And then like through shading and stuff you can make it look like it's not coming out of the bottom of his chin but coming out of his shoulder which would be over there-ish. a little bit of a knuckle dragger I think I think that's okay you can also kind of help set that arm back by making lines that are supposed to sit in front of the arm thicker and these lines thinner which is a little hard to define with my sketch but I think you get the, the gist of it so real quick I'm gonna do this guy and the staff Maybe the clothes a little, and then I'll pretty much be done. So this guy, again, I don't know if he's supposed to be connected. I actually love him and don't want to change him too much. The only thing I would say is this arm, it kind of tapers strangely. I would just 
either go for it or make it even. Oops. I would do something like that, personally. Okay, so I'm going to do the staff, and the um, first thing I'm actually going to do is get the staff away from the silhouette of the body. Um, I'm just kind of thinking. doesn't help that I already drew the hand, the fist, a very particular way, so yeah, I guess I can do it like that. So I think I'll put it, yeah, like right there. And so I'm going to have it yeah, okay, so basically just going to sort of trace the one you have. It's got these great details and pop marks and stuff in it, and I'm not doing it any justice, but... <laughs> just for the layout and uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to get it quite as twisted as where's my middle there we go yes it doesn't if I was going to do it like straight on like from the beginning I should have thought of that but I would uh, change it so that it f is at an angle like this but I am not a smart man so I will I will try something like this. I'm still not a big fan that it like is in the body. Like that if you made this whole drawing black, like all the shapes in it, that if you could only just barely tell that you had a cane. Which is kind of why I'm trying to like set it away. Away from the body, please. I will also leave that on its own layer so I can turn it on and off. Okay, so real quick I'm going to do the pose. Those little shorty shorts. And then, uh... And then we'll be done. So just remember your tension points and to like not chintz out on your contours. So none of this shit. <laughs> nice and round. Nice and round. Nice and round. No matter like which way you're looking at it, it should be nice and round. Which you pretty much did in the original. I'm not giving you flack for nothing. Mm. 
Okay. So I think that is going to do it. So I think the biggest thing that I did for this one, besides sort of fixing some of this anatomy up here, even the neck is kind of in a weird place, but I'm being a little forgiving considering like how stylized and hulking this character is. But the other thing is I sort of pulled this side of the head like out so that you can see him a little more. Like I sort of puffed up that side, but I still kind of left it darkened and what have you because in the original it's sort of like he has a uh, like a cataract eye or something like a milky eye so I left that sort of let it go so to speak but uh, yeah um, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one um, yeah I like this a lot so anyway you should go check out youtube.com slash user slash show arts for his um, for more of his art uh, and he does sort of similar stuff to what I do he just records himself drawing he doesn't do like red line Tuesdays or anything but you get the idea so I forgot his little beard scruffies I forgot like a lot of those kind of scruffy marks but anyway so yeah I'm gonna call this one I hope that that sort of helped helped I said that strangely yeah I like it. I like it. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye!